Uh, Mountain Blade 2. But I'm glad you've been out for some time and you've done a great job. But it seems the player base is, you know, quite naturally starting to die off a little. And you'd expect that with a single player game. A game like Kingdom Come Deliverance was so highly received. And then a month or so later, it hardly had any players until obviously new DLCs came out. But the same has happened with Mountain Blade 2 Battlelord, which from the outside you might be, yeah, that makes sense. And for the single player, it completely does. But that really never happened with Warband because it had its multiplayer and it had its multiplayer in a different form that kept people there. But for some reason, Battlelord's multiplayer, if I'm going to be honest, is terrible. You know how much it brings a smile to my face when a little fella like me gets to be supported by some lovely guys. Well, today I give a warm thank you to Star Trek Fleet Command for sponsoring this particular piece of Battlelord content. I mean, it wasn't going to be anything else, was it? Star Trek Fleet Command is a free-to-play MMO strategy game that takes you to the depths of the cosmos. Jump into space and control your own space stations and ships throughout the galaxy. Fight in real-time combat events, join factions, recruit familiar faces to your crew and be in all-out space menace. Or be nice and don't attack everyone if you're going to be boring like that. So please, if you want to help support the channel and say thank you to Star Trek Fleet Command for doing so, click the links down below for the iOS and Android downloads and have a gander today. And boy, it's free. Now hold your horses. Let's be honest here, the single player of Mountain Blade 2 Battlelord is an incredible game. No matter where you are, what you're doing in your life, if you load it up, you're going to have a fun experience. If you want to play for 10 minutes, if you want to play for 16 hours, you can. I mean, I played for, I think, 15 hours straight and I had a ball of a time. I was still learning how to play it properly, but we had a great time on the stream on release day. So single player aside, that's absolutely fine. I love that portion of the game, but I'm actually not a massive single player guy. Now, that might surprise you, but I don't play a lot of games in my spare time. This is because obviously if I'm playing a single player game, I'm most likely wanting to record it because I'm not a massive fan of just sitting in my room playing a game. So most of the games I play are multiplayer. Games like Battlefield, games like Armour 3. At the moment I'm playing Space Engineers a lot and I'm having a ball of a time playing multiplayer with my mates and that's what I love to do. So why haven't I got into the Mountain Blade Bannerlord multiplayer? Because there is nothing there. Let's go back to Warband. When Warband released, it had the single player that we'd seen a lot in its previous game, Mountain Blade. It had been improved upon, it added new mechanics, some slightly better and shinier graphics, and it added some new factions. There was a lot to play there, but it was pretty much the same or very similar to Mountain Blade before it. The real big thing that Mountain Blade Warband added was this multiplayer aspect, and it was incredible. Back then you had 100 to 150 player sieges, later up to 200 to sometimes even I've seen 250 player servers and having massive sieges, having these shield wars, these shield battles, these custom maps that also, yes, they came a bit later, but they were there. And it gave Mountain Blade Warband players a reason to come back. The multiplayer was the reason to come back for a lot of people. And that started the whole debate of single player versus multiplayer for Mountain Blade. I've seen so many people say that they play only multiplayer in Mountain Blade, which is incredible to me. But I don't think anyone's going to say that about Bannerlord. With Bannerlord, you go in and you can play Sieges, you can play Team Deathmatch, you can play Captain Mode, which is probably the most replayable mode. But all of the modes don't have anything that special. Even like the Skirmish mode is probably the most dire thing ever because as soon as you land with a bad team that's it there's no way of changing it round if you have a siege mode or one of the bigger modes and you have a pretty terrible team there's still a chance to change it round because people are joining and leaving all the time but with skirmish that's not possible but let's look at the sieges so the sieges you spawn in on either side you have all this new siege equipment which is incredible i remember when i first loaded into a multiplayer siege i was blown away even just small things like being able to climb up ladders or knock down the front gates then you can push up the battering rams or you could even use the trebuchets to knock them down and knock the crenellations on the walls it's an incredible experience the first time you come in seeing everyone all around doing their own thing some people even starting to work together that is the mountain blade experience but you do it again and again and you do it a bit more and then you start to get bored because you realize that there's nothing else in the siege 
The thing is, Warband Sieges had custom maps, it had mods that you could do sieges on, it had every little thing like this, and I know it's unfair to compare a 10 year old game to a 2 month year old game, and I'm very aware that these things will come later in Banlord, but this video is now. This video is the reason that Mountain Blade 2 Banlord's multiplayer is lacking so much. I think it went the first month was a hundred to two hundred thousand people playing it at the same time, and and now it's about fifteen to twenty thousand. Which is an incredible amount of players, don't get me wrong, that's incredible, but I bet you most of them are playing the single player because they're sure not on the multiplayer. It takes me ages to get a game on multiplayer. The servers are dying, everything is going wrong on that aspect. Tail Worlds quite rightly focused so much on the single player, but it meant the multiplayer has suffered. And I know, many of you will be like, it's a single player game, and granted, Mountain Blade is mostly focused on single player, but if any one of you played Warband, you know the multiplayer was so, so crucial to its success. It's actually what made Mountain Blade Warband the game it is. And I would go out there to say it was a big reason why Banlord was able to be made. Because the multiplayer was so community driven. It was so people driven. And not just another multiplayer aspect for a game. People like Malekith, Jadtopia, Gaming Till Dawn Studios brought more people into the multiplayer by making their videos on the Roman mods that you had shield battles, for making videos on Mount Musket, which was so successful that the developers themselves made the Napoleonic Wars DLC. You're not getting that with Mountain Blade 2 Battle Lord at the moment. And there's one thing that I think would fix it, and that's private servers. That is all you need. And yes, they have said that it is coming in the future, but for now, all we have are the official servers. And people are bored of going over and over again, playing the same old thing. And I know it's something that is probably a tiny little nitpick, but hey, this is a Banlord channel. All I do is nitpick about the game. And the reason I do is because I love the game, and I know a lot of these things will come later in the future, but right now, I was just sitting here and I was like, I really love the multiplayer of Mountain Blade, but for some reason, I just don't care about Banlord's multiplayer. I just don't care, and that's that's a, that's sad. I felt a bit sad about that, because I love multiplayer games. But we've heard about my issues with the game. What's being done to fix it? And of course, it's Tail Worlds, who work their asses off to make this game incredible. They've already said what they're going to do about it. They've said that they're working on clan integrations, which whilst with private servers will also mean, I'm assuming, being able to make profiles within the game, change clan tags, having sigils, banners and things, your own personal banners, maybe even some type of communication in the game between these clans. Now it's very vague at the moment, but at a minimum it's going to be what Warband had. But I'm going out there to say they're probably going to push it even further, adding completely new things we haven't seen. The ability to add custom maps and make your own maps. I remember the Napoleonic Wars custom maps where in my regiment we'd have training maps. We'd have like a shooting range and then we'd have a cavalry practice area and we'd have a, a, a melee practice area. All those things were amazing. And the modular aspect of Mountain Blade Warband is what kept people coming back to the multiplayer. So yes, the multiplayer for Banlord at the moment is horrendous. It's got nothing in it. And I'm sure a lot of you will agree with me. But let's hold out because it's coming. When it's coming, we have no idea, but as they stated, and I, as I mentioned in my last video of the future of Banlord, they are working on it, so it might not be too long. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more content on Mountain Blade 2 Banlord, and you can bet as soon as the multiplayer gets to a standard where we can make clans and do stuff on events and things like that, there will be many around this channel and on my Discord. So make sure you stick around for that. But until then, I will see you in the next one.